Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! Over the past few years, the National Football League has been attacked for allowing itself to be politicized by rebel athletes and media members. These hyper left-wing values, it's disruptive to the culture of football. I pay my money to watch them play football. I, I don't come out to watch a political rally. Americans don't want politics shoved down their throat in football. They want beer and wings shoved down their throat. Not everything needs to be politicized. What you do that moment is sacred and fun, and it's supposed to bring the family yeah. together. Just shut up and play so, ball. Yeah. They're arrogant young millionaires who think that they should inflict their politics in what has been historically a non-political moment. That's not, we're not, we're not looking to get into politics. What we're looking to do is continue to get people focused on football. What's gotten a lot less attention is all the ways that NFL football has been politicized on behalf of the power establishment all along. How for decades it's been pumping out messages that are impossible to separate from politics, whether people want to see them as political or not. The fact is, the National Football League, more than any other major American sport, has explicitly built its brand on a whole complex of images and messages that have helped shape everything from dominant ideas about patriotism, militarism, and war. Their war is a lonely war that has submerged in part in the trenches. To gender norms and our conception of American manhood. What does the NFL stand for? Masculinity, strength, toughness. <laughs> It comes down to destroying the man in front of you. This is where it's really at in pro football. Something tells me, Gavin, that you think football, you should let them hit each other. Of course of you should. Course. It's the American way. Yeah. Oh, concussion, schmin schmushin, they ought to call it. <laughs> <laughs> to the politics of race and the history of racism and segregation in America, to the meaning and place of money and corporate power in U.S. society. And I'd argue that whether we're football fans or not, or even sports fans, we all have a stake in understanding this side of the political equation and just how powerful the NFL has become as a cultural and political force in this country. But one thing about the NFL, politics are not good for us in any way. We've got to stay away from politics.